Hi everyone, this is Seps from Airboxer. Today we're gonna to talk about sell-through rates. So what is sell-through rate? Sell-through rate is basically if you start with 100 products and say 30 days later you've sold 20 products, then what percentage of your products did you sell during this time period? It's a proxy for uh, how fast your SKUs sell. And this is what a sell-through uh, report uh, generally looks like. For every product, we're looking at how many products do you sell on a daily basis and therefore what the sell-through rate is, what did you start with, what did you end with, and finally, uh, how many days of inventory are we holding onto? Usually we use this to make decisions around which products need discounting, which products need to be on a, on a clearance sale, and what products uh, should you focus your advertising budgets on. So let me run this report on a demo store and see what it looks like. I'm gonna hit the run report on your store button. This is going to uh, run the report on my uh, demo store on Shopify. We're looking at the last 30 days of data to identify these metrics. There, so this is what the report looks like. Uh, for every product, we have got a few metrics here. I'm gonna take you through the metrics, but keep in mind that this is a demo store and therefore not all of the numbers are going to make sense. When you run this on your own store, you will get far more legitimate data. So this is how we read this uh, data. For this specific product, this is how much we uh, managed to sell in dollar values. Um, this is the quantity we sold. This is how much quantity we're holding onto and how many did we sell of this product every single day. And from all of this information, we calculate the sell-through rate and estimate the number of days of inventory that you're holding onto. Now, how do we determine which products to focus on? Right? If a product is selling less than even one a day, you probably do need, uh, it probably does need some attention. Mm -hmm. Also look at the estimated days of inventory to identify how comfortable you are with holding on to how much inventory. For instance, holding on to 40 days of inventory might be okay for some of your SKUs. Holding on to a thousand days of inventory might be catastrophic for the business. So try to identify what your sweet spot is uh, based on your historical data, based on how confident you, of, you are of certain SKUs, if they have only been recently launched, if the ad, ads haven't optimized yet, and then identify the ones that you do need to put on a sale right away. Usually this is a great way to identify which products to discount, which products to feature prominently on your homepage. For instance, you, your sell-through rates might be high, but you're also holding on to a lot of inventory, which means that it's probably not uh, uh, viewed enough by enough number of people. Uh, and therefore you need to position this uh, appropriately on your, or merchandise them appropriately on your homepage. So that's how this works. Run this report on your own uh, store and see which of your SKUs are performing well. I will leave a link to this page uh, in the comments. So make sure to try this out yourself. Thank you.